Australia is the second driest continent on our planet, but us Australians are also the largest consumers of water too. This, plus the fact that we get low rainfalls, serious droughts, water pollution and neglectful water wasting Australians, puts us on the verge of a water crisis. We're going to now show you 10 things that you can do around the house that can easily save the amount of water you use. If every Melbourneian did this, we'd be able to cut our water usage by up to 50%. I'm guessing. Taking shorter showers. Every minute less saves a bucket of water. Try to take less than 4 minute showers. And when I say showers, I don't mean using the bathtub. Use the half flush. If your toilet has it, use it. You can save up to 4 buckets a day. If you don't, invest in getting one. If not, just don't hold the button for too long. Washing. Only wash clothes and dishes on the full load. Every load less can save 17 buckets of water. In the bathroom. Plug the sink when shaving and use that to rinse rather than running water. Also, turn the tap off tightly when not in use, like when you're brushing your teeth, and use a cup to rinse your mouth rather than cupping the water. Speaking of turning stuff off when not in use, that applies to any electrical appliances too. For example, if no one's watching TV, turn it off. Washing. When washing vegetables or dishes, plug the sink or fill bucket and use that water to rinse all your stuff instead of using a running tap. When done, you can use a bucket to scoop the water and reuse it to water the garden. Screw tightly. After you're finished with a water tap, make sure the faucet is turned till it can't turn anymore. Also, make sure that water isn't dripping from the tap. Of course, don't screw it so tightly until it's stuck. Use as much as you need. When you fill a cup for brushing your teeth or raising your shaver, don't fill it to the brim. Just use as much as you need. Another example is to boil as much water as you're going to use. Drinking water. Instead of waiting for running water to get cold, store the water in used water bottles in the fridge and top up when necessary. Water efficient shower heads. Consider installing an AAA rated shower head and taps as most of them are able to save on water use and energy use. Check for leaks. Every once in a while, do a bit of maintenance and check pipes and taps for any leaks. A leaking toilet can easily waste up to 225 litres a day. Of course, these are just ways to save water inside the home, but 34% of water is used outside the home, in the garden. Here's another 10 ways to save water in your garden. Plant selection. When planting plants, aim for ones that don't require lots of water to grow and manage. Plant positions. Plant plants with similar watering needs next to each other. It provides an easier time watering them with the right amount. Watering efficiently. Use watering cans. If not, use trigger nozzles for hoses so you only water where you should. Watering plants. Water the soil, not the leaves. Watering lawns. Only water lawns when needed. A good check to see if you need to water it is if an impression of your foot remains on the lawn, it requires watering. Mulching. Make sure to apply a 7 to 10 cm layer of mulch around the plant to reduce water evaporation by up to 70%. Water crystals. Add some water crystals to increase water retention by 40%. Weeding. Make sure to remove any weeds that show up ASAP as they are notorious water thieves, plus they shelter pests and diseases too. Washing your car. Use a bucket and sponge combo when washing your car, and if, if possible, wash your car on your lawn, so the water runoff waters the lawn. And since car shampoos contain phosphates that are similar to many fertilizers. Cleaning. Use a broom or rake to sweep your driveways and paths, not a hose. There are a lot more ways that we haven't mentioned to cut water usage, and you can easily find links to these websites through a simple Google search. Now, there are other ways to save water that don't directly link to a job around the house. For example, being a vegetarian. Meat requires up to 5 times as much water to produce compared to vegetable crops. Therefore, being ve a vegetarian means they are eating food that require way less water. Another way is to invest in a rainwater tank. Being able to collect otherwise wasted rainwater is a good idea, and you'll be decreasing demand from the water suppliers by using your own water rather than their supplies. This is called storm water and can be used for almost everything other than drinking, since it's rain and there's a chance of like, air pollutants. Also, having your own limited water supply makes it feel more water-wise. Finally, another way that costs money is to replace all your appliances with more water-efficient ones, or energy-efficient ones, you know, the ones with the highest star rating. If you do all of these tips,
or even one of them, like taking short showers, you can help make a change for Victoria.